best klaar voor. Uh... Ja. Daar dan, het oudste zo mooie Duitsland. 65, 350 kilometer al gereden, nog 200 te gaan. Eerste stop op karakter, on the way to Twitchcon. Let's go! Komen we op de hotelkamer, net terug van uh, het event en natuurlijk hebben we nog een aantal goodies gehaald. Dus even kijken wat we allemaal hebben. Eenmaal Mok van TwitchCon Europe. Nou, natuurlijk collectors edition hè. 
dat wordt natuurlijk heel schaars. Ik weet niet of er natuurlijk nog een twist komt om de uur. We hebben nog een mok. Mok, dat, mok, dat, dat, mok. Een pinnetje. Dit komt pin. Niet te vergeten natuurlijk. Nog een pin. Leuk versje. Marine. Nou ja, goed. Dan nemen we met een kolletje zout. Uiteraard de purple Twitch t-shirt. De Twitch cap. En a little bit of Twitch love. Zo so kun wat is het allemaal doen hij? Twitch uh, glitch sweatpants, Twitch glitch shorts, Twitch glitch puff hoodie in een purple kleur met een mooie diepdrukkende uh, druk Twitch logo erin en een, uh, en een tweetal mokken. Een tweetal mokken. Nice. Ja, yeah, good day again. We are standing here live at uh, TwitchCon 2019 in Berlin. Uh, we have today for you on schedule Twitch Rivals uh, League of Legends Showdown. Uh, meet and greet sessions, of course, uh, streaming one on one. Uh, straight to your community with moderation, all the ins and outs. Uh, Twitch behind the scenes, uh, the creator dashboard, squad streams, and more. Magic the Gathering, community meetup behind the scenes, and that's especially for Twitch partners, subs, bits, and getting paid on Twitch. Affiliates meetups, meet and greet sessions again, uh, working with uh, brands, uh, finding sponsoring opportunities, streaming with disabilities because some people do have disabilities and they also stream. Twitch behind the scenes in a partner theater today with chat safety and channel moderation tools and lots and lots more. Also a meet and greet with the one and only David Hasselhoff. Let's go. successful gank and right now Kami and Minute they really are just looking to scale up to never move no guys is coming down it looks like Solo might just be able to get this with a vision of that protected, secure, you can have um, better conversations, you can make sure that uh, the conversations that you are having in your chat are more safe and meaningful. Hello, my name is Dina, I'm from Russia, so I'm a Russian streamer, and um, I have uh, two main things on my channel, so one is just chatting, where, uh, where I do some shows, like 
last shows, Truth or Dare shows, which are actually more Dare than Truth, <laughs> and the Mafia shows, and so on, and of course, games. Hello everyone, my name is Marie, I'm Watson, and um, I'm from Denmark, so I am a Danish streamer, and I, um, I'm just playing Fortnite, I guess, which is a big part of my stream, definitely, I've been playing a lot of League, but now it's Fortnite, and um, I've been streaming for a lot of years, so streaming is a big part of my life and definitely building my community is a very, very big thing for me, which I love, so I'm very excited to be here as well to um, answer a lot of questions. I'm Sebastian, I'm 26 years old, I'm from Germany, uh, I mostly do stream Fortnite, uh, just chatting, Counter-Strike, whatever I'm up to, um, it's me. <laughs> Awesome, so we're gonna cover a couple of things in today's presentation. So we're gonna talk about the different things that you have at your disposal to help moderate your channel. So we're gonna talk about channel moderators, we're gonna talk about the tools that your moderators have, we're gonna talk about the tools that Twitch gives to you um, to help with moderation on your channel, different techniques um, that these streamers use to help moderate their channel. I use AutoMod, it's in your settings. It allows you to use four different filters, um, four different levels. So you can start with auto on the lowest, then you can bump up to more moderation, more moderation to the most severe in your viewer's experience. So there are channel rules when people um, come into your chat for the first time. You have the option to add in rules that automatically pop up that just say like, hey, we don't allow emotes ban, or yeah, we allow emotes ban. There are people that you can promote from normal viewers to moderators. Uh, they get a special badge in the chat. A good moderator is someone who always can be friendly and kind. A good moderator also is someone who can, as I said, be friendly and talk with the viewers. And if a new viewer is coming in or a new follower, it is a good idea to have a moderator who can talk to them and help them. And it kind of improves the stream, For in my case, that there is a good moderator who is who's patient and friendly and who want to help if anyone needs it. Because there is a lot of new people to Twitch and they have a lot of questions. and. Finding a friendly moderator is a very good thing and it kind of shows who I am as a streamer. Say a good moderator should be a responsible person and an unbiased person. Also, of course, they have to be very, very polite, have strict rules and um, moderators understand it, but they never fight with viewers. No. no. If, if there are some insults, just Ben or just time out, no fights. We talked about the fact that moderators can be there. There are also tools specifically built for mods in Twitch chat. So you can use uh, the command slash user in chat to view the profile card of any user in your chat. Uh, it allows your moderators to share specific comments um, and with the broadcaster. So the broadcaster can pull up a user card and see how many times that user has been banned. Now let's talk about some actual techniques uh, for moderation. So there are a lot of different ways that channels can moderate and there are a lot of different ways that channels change the moderation on their time on Twitch. The way that you moderate when you've been streaming for two months is probably very different than the way that you'll moderate when you've been streaming for two years. You're, you're breaking up if you stream, you stop streaming, you, you get angry, you get salty, your, your whole mood changes and that might be not good for the stream. So. That's the reason you have moderators. Yeah, definitely. I think for me, when I started streaming, it was so new and I kind of felt like it was it was my thing and I was scared to let anyone come in, definitely moderators. So for me, definitely trusting my, in my moderators, trust their decisions that they are doing very, doing a good job for me. And These guys know mine better than me. Yeah, exactly. Like, trust them. Know. And I didn't know that at the beginning because I am moderating or I just added a moderator that I actually don't know. I don't know, I've never seen him. I've only seen him in my chat or something like that. So it can be frightening. So definitely trust him. That's um, kind of what I wish I knew. And also pick good moderators. I had some bad moderators who didn't treat my viewers too well. And that makes me very sad because I don't want that. So definitely make sure you also pick the right ones, that you're allowed to be picky when it comes to moderators, definitely. Make sure you find the right ones to make sure that your community is as positive as possible and everyone is equal, definitely. And I'm sure that you guys might have some questions as well. Uh, if you have questions, there are two microphones on either side of the room. So feel free to ask questions. We're here to answer them. 
If you're bored as a moderator and you're like, I want to help, go through their clips mm -hmm. um, and go like, hey, here's a clip you need to delete. Here's a clip you need to delete. Here's a clip you need to delete. Um, you can go through that. Um, if you if you are trusted enough, you can ask them to be an editor so that you can go back through like my one of my top mods. Um, goes through and highlights all of my past videos so they don't get deleted. Um, they go delete all the uh, clips that I don't want on my channel. They do a lot of that. Um, and then the other thing you can do is actually help create content. So like be really active in clipping and clip things that they'll then want to put into like a highlight later or be like, hey, one of my mods also um, goes through the clips and from the last week will be like, here's your top 10 clips that you can put into a video. Thank you. So thank you guys so much for coming and participating. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah. I, saw, I saw that. I said, wow, I, I, I really wanted to see you. Yeah, that's me. Cool. That's me, yeah. Can, can I... Yeah, yeah. I, Do you have a pen? No. I, uh, <laughs> someone does. Oh, sweet. Thank you so much. There oh, you go. cool. That's so good. Yeah. Awesome. awesome. Thank you I, so much. I, I watched Star Wolf stream yeah. every day. Yeah. He came back to Twitch, so we're so excited because he's streaming on Twitch again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. What's the, awesome. what's the, he was streaming on the... On the Mixer for a while, Mixer, yeah. Mixer, and yeah. Uh, he... Came back. It wasn't uh, his, his thing. Yeah, so he came now back. Now he needs to come back. Yeah, yeah, awesome. Really, yeah, awesome. Well, it was nice to meet you. Yeah. Thank you so cool. much for coming. I was I was watching uh, for hoping he was coming here. No, he couldn't. He's going to be in um, Sweden soon. So, That's good, yeah? Yeah, so he, he didn't come here because I was going to be in Sweden. So. <laughs> cool. Yeah. yeah, it was awesome. Yeah, this was it then. Twitch komt 2019 vanuit Berlijn. Het is een beetje regenachtig, maar dat mag niet niet drukken. Ik hoop dat jullie het leuk vonden. Ik heb in ieder geval een blast gehad. Much appreciated for all the support that they're having uh, this weekend. Shout out to Punchy and ESA. Thank you for watching. See you again next time. Cheers.